So I finally got power to the spindle. So I'm gonna take a pretty decent cut just to show you how exactly it's doing. Small note, up here with this spindle, everything's cut in half. Reason being is the belt or one of the bearings is not particularly good in this machine and it's causing a lot of vibration. I'm thinking it's a belt just because it's been sitting for years uh, without anybody attending to it or taking care of it. So it thumps around a bit. It doesn't sound quite like a bearing. The other thing is they use spur gears here that flops into gear way easier than any other bridge port I worked with. Uh, so the tolerance is loose on that. So you'll hear the, uh, the spur gears going to town a bit. A bit louder than I'd like. But anyways, I'm running this at, uh, I think 30 hertz, because I cut everything in half. So right there, so it would be 21,000 RPM. But anyways, let's get to cutting. Right there. Pretty decent surface finish. All right, well that was fun, except I have no idea how what that step over is. Maybe if I'm lucky, and this will focus, that was just like 25,000, so it only feels like maybe that much. Uh, but I'm gonna move the machine back over. I zeroed it out for the uh, G54 work offset. So right there we're zeroed out. And this is normal if you have an open loop system where the controller is actually getting feedback from the encoders. They will want to walk around in the tenths, uh, tenths place. So, yep. But I'm going to take a heavier cut. I will probably shoot for, uh, I want to clean up that surface. I'm going to drop the tool down, uh, then clean up a larger swath of the surface, probably go full tool depth, because we're not quite there yet, but we can go a little bit more. Uh, this tool is a bit worn. I used it, I actually crashed it down uh, when trying to bore out a pocket, but it survived the 25,000s impact because I was I had my uh, I had my velocity turned way way down that one right there. Also, I'm noticing with this particular GUI that was too much. The numbers are just a little bit out of control, just just the whole way. Um, granted, I don't think this uh, I don't think they intended you to have velocities like I get out of this machine which is something like 180 uh, inches per minute, which is a bit fast, especially considering a lot of the controllers or a lot of the machines out there are stepper motor driven. And there's a lot of mass in this table. Uh, even though it's just a Bridgeport clone pretty much, the, the V's on it, the dovetails are significantly wider and it's a bit beefier. So, yeah, a little unusual there. A little annoying too because I have no idea what my velocity is until it shows up there and uh, when, by the time it shows up there I'm hitting the e-stop because it's probably way too fast and probably just proving out a program. Uh, yeah, but beyond that I switched to, uh, this is the name there, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, not the Linux CNC but the, uh, the G-M-O-C-C-A-P-Y 
Jimakra, whatever it is. I'm not pronouncing that right. I'm not going to try. Uh, but anyways, it's more fleshed out. Uh, on G screen, the incremental didn't work. Uh, so I can actually select, like, move a hundred thousandths every time I push the button. And sure enough, it will move a hundred thousandths accordingly. And all of these work. I tried them out, and they're pretty accurate. So I can't complain there. Um, I think the only thing I don't like is it blocks some of the uh, control menus right here. There's no button behind there. And if I'd focus... But if I would go into, say, do, 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 do the actual run program screen. All right, the actual run program screen, or on an industrial machine, what might be called memory, or just mem for short, uh, you don't have the ability one of these is single block, the other one is start at line, whatever, and they're both blocked off. I just know that this is pretty sure it's start at line, whatever, and this is single block. But they're both covered up. There's your optional stop right there, the M1. Full screen is not full screen of taking it up, like no longer showing the start menu and that type of thing it's for the graphics only so yeah but I'm pretty happy with this all right but anyways I'm gonna get to cutting because I've rambled for a bit long and yeah this is where the program would go but I don't have a program in here because I don't want to accidentally hit start and crash the machine because my work offsets off